Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Amber Noggle. And I'm Brandon Taylor. Today, the Madison Police Department shared new information about a homicide investigation. Chief Sean Barnes says four people have been arrested for their involvement in a deadly shooting last October. It happened at Harmony Apartments, which is on the city's east side. 15-year-old Kaisha Miller was shot and killed. Two other people were seriously hurt. Now, nearly nine months later, Chief Barnes says he is proud of the progress the department has made in this case. But he says more work needs to be done. New at 10, Grace Hodak has you covered on how the alder of the area is responding and why he too says their work doesn't stop here. Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes made it very clear that more work on this case needs to be done. He says the department will not stop until everyone who played a role in the death of 15 year old Kaisha Miller is prosecuted. Barnes says officers found more than 50 shell casings in the area after the shooting. They also knew, based off video evidence, that there were at least five people involved. Now, more than a half year later, police have arrested four of those people. They are Donovan Douglas, Javion White, Reginald Sexton, and Wilson Clark. All suspects are in their early 20s and they're from the Madison area. Our investigative work included, included Following up on leads, confidential tips, and DNA analysis help to lead to these charges. We know that some in custody are affiliated with the local gang that is in our community, but we don't know what led them to the Harmony Apartments and why they chose to do this senseless act. Like MPD, Alderman Derek Field says more work needs to be done. In a statement to 27 News, he thanks the Madison Police Department for its work on this case and dedication to the safety of the people who live in the area. Field says there is plenty of work ahead to support Harmony Apartment families healing from this act of gun violence and to rebuild their trust and sense of security. This is still an open investigation and police are still searching for a motive. Reporting in Madison, Grace Hodak, 27 News. Each suspect is facing intentional homicide, attempted homicide, and recklessly endangering safety charges.